Sorry for the wind. Um, it's pretty breezy out here. I wanted to show you um, this video is for Cabot Bluegill. This here is the uh, ash tree I had mentioned. And um, this ash tree was hit with the emerald ash borer. And if you can see, this is the damage that the emerald ash borer does. And what that is, is the emerald ash borer bores into the wood and then um, the larvae uh, emerge and you wind up with these pockets or strips where the bark is uh, taken off. And then to compound the problem you have uh, woodpeckers that come in and and try to get at the larvae that's that's uh, coming out. So I had the tree uh, treated and what they basically do is they come down at the base in the springtime and they they wind up drilling at the very base here um, holes that go into I believe they call it the cadmium layer which is just inside this bark and on a sunny day leaves in the tree are are pulling up all that water it'll pull the chemical up and kill the larvae that's uh, emerging and this tree is probably well, I don't know, a good 40 years old if not older and it's unfortunately a weak tree because it's got a Y but as you see on the right side here of that Y that's really where the emerald ash borer has really done its damage and while it's still alive you can see the holes from the woodpecker and we get a lot of woodpeckers coming in to try to get those uh, larvae this will be the third year so we'll have another um, application done on this tree this tree is probably about 30 or so inches around um, it's the one big shade tree that we have um, if we lose it I'll probably make some uh, firewood and maybe some lumber out of it but it's really hard to do because behind this bark what is you'll see there's all kind of cavernous little um, passageways sorry about the plane flying overhead so some of you may be wondering why I've got a extension cord up there and it's because we hit the hockey rink and put some floodlights up here so what they basically will do tree doctor comes in and bores holes every you know, 8 or 12 inches around the tree and much like a maple tree they'll hook the tubing all around and then pump in this uh, this application, this chemical. One way that you know you have the emerald ash borer is one, inspecting the bark uh, as I just showed you. The other telltale sign is getting shoots that will grow so you'll wind up getting shoots like this coming right out of the tree that um, will be in places you wouldn't expect them to be such as here in the middle of the tree you'll get shoots uh, that'll grow and that's generally a telltale sign that uh, the emerald ash borer uh, is uh, going after your tree and once that happens um, if you don't do anything about it, they will they will take a tree down like this in uh, in a in a year or two. So I uh, just wanted to show you that. And uh, if any of you have ash trees, green or white ash trees, take a look. If you're in the Northeast, there are things that you can do to save them, and uh, they're worth they're definitely worth saving. All right, thanks a lot for watching.